n, 0, 1, is called standard normal distribution. We use letter z to label it. The mean is 0, the standard deviation and variance are 1. In the graph, we can see that the curve is symmetric about the y-axis, and drops to almost 0 at plus and minus 3, or 3 times of the standard deviation. Half values are positive. Half values are negative. Pz greater than 0 is 0 0.5. Pz less than 0 is also 0 0.5. Now we'll learn how to find out probabilities of the standard normal distribution from a lookup table. First, let's introduce a symbol phi, z. It is pz less than z. Just a simpler notation. On the graph, it is the area to the left of z. Here's the lookup table, or z table. The outside is z values. The inside is phi values, or probabilities. Now let's find out phi 1.234. Let's look down the first column to 1.2. Then look across the first row to 3. Find the intersection. The number 0 0.8907 is the probability value, phi 1.23. For the last digit 4, look further to the right on the first row. We can see there's a smaller box with number 1 to 9, and the word add. We find 4 in here. Look down to find the intersection with 1.2. There's the number 7 there. We need to add 7 to the end of the probability. So phi 1.234 is 0 0.8907 plus 0.007. The result is 0 0.8914. In the Z table, we can see that z values are from 0 to 2.999. We know that almost all values are within three standard deviations of the mean. So probability is almost 1 if z is greater than 3. There's no need to look up. For negative z values, we'll learn later how to find their probabilities by symmetry. Phi values are from 0 0.5000 to 0 0.9986. Phi 0 is 0 0.5, because half values are less than the mean 0. Phi 2.999 is 0 0.9986. This is almost 1. Now we know phi 1.234 is 0 0.8914, by looking up the z table. Then what's is pz greater than 1.234? From the graph, we know it's the area to the right of 1.234. Therefore, it is 1 minus 0 0.8914, which is 0 0.1086. We know phi 1.234 is 0 0.8914. Then what's is pz less than minus 1.234? Let's look at the graph. It's the area to the left of minus 1.234. We know the bell curve is symmetric. So it is equal to the area to the right of plus 1.234. Therefore, by symmetry, pz less than minus 1.234 is equal to pz greater than 1.234. We know pz greater than 1.234 is 1 minus pz less than 1.234. So pz less than minus 1.234 is 1 minus pz less than 1.234. We can write it as, phi minus 1.234 is 1 minus phi 1.234. This is 1 minus 0 0.8914, which is 0 0.1086. In general, phi minus z, is 1 minus phi z. We know phi 1.234 is 0 0.8914. Then what's is pz greater than minus 1.234? Let's look at the graph. It's the area to the right of minus 1.234. We know the bell curve is symmetric. So it is equal to the area to the left of plus 1.234. Therefore, by symmetry, p 
pz greater than minus 1.234, is equal to pz less than 1.234, or phi 1.234. So pz greater than minus 1.234 is 0 0.8914. Now we know how to find probabilities for standard normal distribution. For pz less than a positive value, we can look it up directly in the z table. This is phi z. For pz greater than a positive value, it's 1 minus phi z. For pz less than a negative value, we use phi minus z, is 1 minus phi z. For pz greater than a negative value, it's equal to phi z. You can always sketch the curve to help you find out the correct probability. Now let's see how to calculate the probability between A and B. We know PZ between A and B, is PZ less than B, minus PZ less than A. This is Phi B minus Phi A. So PZ between 0 0.234 and 1.234 is, Phi 1.234 minus Phi 0 0.234. By looking up the table, we get it as 0 0.8914 minus 0 0.5925, which is 0 0.2989. If Z is between a negative value and a positive value, we can use, Phi minus Z is 1 minus Phi Z, to calculate the probability. For example, pz between minus 0 0.234 and 1.234 is, phi 1.234 minus phi minus 0 0.234. We know phi minus 0 0.234 is, 1 minus phi 0 0.234. So this becomes, phi 1.234 minus, 1 minus phi 0 0.234. It is 0 0.8914 minus 1 minus 0 0.2989, which is 0 0.1903. If Z is between two negative values, we can use, Phi minus Z is 1 minus Phi Z, on both. For example, PZ between minus 2.234 and minus 1.234 is, Phi minus 1.234 minus phi minus 2.234. This is, 1 minus phi 1.234, minus, 1 minus phi 2.234. It is phi 2.234 minus phi 1.234, which is 0 0.0959. If we look at it on the graph, we can see that by symmetry, the probability between minus 2.234 and minus 1.234, is the same as the probability between 1.234 and 2.234. Therefore, you can always sketch the graph to help you resolve probability problems. We know in continuous probability distributions, the probability of x equals an exact value is 0. So pz equals z is 0. Therefore, it doesn't matter whether there's the equal sign. pz less than or equal to z is the same as pz less than z. pz greater than or equal to z is the same as pz greater than z. For example, pz less than or equal to 1.234, is pz less than 1.234, which is 0 0.8914. pz greater than or equal to 1.234, is pz greater than 1.234. This is 1 minus 0 0.8914, which is 0 0.1086. In this class, we learned. Standard normal distribution z, is n, 0, 1. Phi z is pz less than z. Phi minus z is 1 minus phi z. Look up probabilities in the z table. Use symmetry to find all sorts of probabilities. Equal sign has no effect and can be ignored.